The giant anteater is a curious oxymoronic creature in that it is an awkward, bumbling animal known to be very shy that can also, if it feels like it, rip apart a jaguar with its bare anteater hands. Something the animal is capable of doing as a direct result of its primary source of sustenance being creatures less than an inch long. Alright, so I'm guessing that giant anteaters eat ants. Yeah, the name kind of gives that one away, doesn't it? Uh, giant anteaters, they're quite big and they eat ants. Um, uh, but in the wild, they've been known to eat a variety of other things, including, you know, other small insects, um, fruit when they can get their hands on it, and just other things that they can find and forage on the forest floor. And in captivity, um, which is the reason we're talking about it today, because I've seen an anteater, I went to a zoo and managed to pet an anteater. Here's a picture of me petting an anteater with a big dumb grin on my face and a mask, because that's the sensible thing to do. And while I was there, the keeper explained to me that anteaters can actually eat a bunch of stuff. However, they are limited by the fact their mouth is like this big. Because uh, uh, there's a picture of an anteater behind me, no doubt. Like, their mouth is just the end of that little snout. Their mouth kind of reminds me of those handheld vacuums that you have that just like, you can just <laughs> suck up spiders. <laughs> I didn't know you were going. You mean like the attachment you get for the end of the hoover, like the long thin nozzle, that's better for getting all does. That's basically what it is. And inside the snout of an anteater is housed a near two foot long tongue that is covered in a viscous glue-like saliva. Um, which it uses to just hoover up insects, as it were. And the insects, as you might imagine, are not happy about this and will frequently bite the anteater. So the way the anteater like, stops the insects from doing that on the way down its throat is it uses its tongue to crush the insects against the roof of its mouth. Because this is one of those weird things that I, I, I guess I knew, but didn't really think about until I saw it, is that the anteater's head, that's its skull. Its skull is just really long. It had, like, the snout is just all bone. And when I saw an anteater skull, well, I always kind of knew that's what an anteater skull must have looked like. But to see it like that really weirded me out for some reason. But it's the result of millions of years of evolution, basically hyper-focusing on a singular task, which is just sucking up small insects and other creatures. But as mentioned, giant anteaters can eat a variety of other foodstuffs, providing they're able to get it into their tiny mouth. And Nisha, would you like to take a guess at what is supposedly the favoured food of many anteaters in captivity? Well, I thought because of their little mouths, they'd be able to eat like blueberries and stuff like that. They're very easy to eat them. Yeah, they do like berries, grapes, or um, other small pieces of fruit, or even like, you know, just soft fruit in general that they can rip apart with their claws and then just like, you know, get the soft fruit flesh inside. Um, as I saw when I was feeding it an avocado, and it was just like, it was going to town on that avocado. <laughs> uh, but no, it's yogurt. Oh. They like yoghurt. Like, yoghurt is especially tasty to anteaters. And in my head, I just imagine them with a froob. <laughs> you know what I'm and then just the entire tongue goes down into the froob and gets it in one go. It's like, it's the perfect shape for it. It is, yeah. You could get like an entire froob over the end of an anteater snout. But people didn't click this video to hear me talk about how much all the anteaters they clicked it because the title says that they can rip concrete apart with their tiny anteater hands. So let's get to that, shall we? Um, so I'm going to assume that they're pretty strong animals. Yeah, anteaters are um, several times stronger than human beings. And the way the keeper in the zoo described to me is that anteaters just always do chest day. Uh, they are very top heavy. They have very large, powerful forelimbs, at the end of which are housed four inch long claws that the anteater permanently sheathes by walking around on its knuckles so that they stay razor sharp and it doesn't accidentally stab itself or anything else it encounters um, as it's foraging. Okay. Because that's something when you look at an anteater, you don't expect it to have claws. You see, oh, they're like, you know, all big and furry, kind of dumb looking. Like, no, they walk around on their knuckles and those knuckles house four inch long claws, which for anyone curious are longer than the claws found on a velociraptor. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, that's the closest um, uh, parallel um, scientists can draw between them because they're longer than like the claws of like big cats and things like that. Yeah, they are fucking lethal and um, they have been known to kill humans, which we can get to in a moment. But, you know, tearing apart concrete, because one of the things anteaters are most famous for um, is like, you know, eating ants and termites. And termites, very famously themselves, ha like have houses inside of giant termite mounds. And there's probably people out there thinking, well, a termite mound doesn't sound that tough to get into. It's just dirt, right? Mm. And yeah, that's true, but it is dirt um, that has been baked and hardened with um, millions and millions of globs of termite saliva. And there have been scientific tests done, and the tensile strength of termite mound cement, because that's essentially what it is, 
um, is similar to that of concrete. God. And it has been theorized that if you could find a way to farm termites effectively, you could use termite mound material um, in lieu of concrete. And anteaters can tear that apart like it's fucking nothing. Oh my God, like, a bit like can, Captain America. Yeah, with the log, just a <laughs> Which, Nisha, if you scroll down on the original article, Captain America with the log. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought as well. Look at that in sync. Look at that. That's why we work together on these videos. But yeah, like anteaters, like the way he was describing it, like they're basically permanently doing breaststroke because like they don't um, like dig like this. Um, you can't see what I'm doing on people at home. They dig like this. Like they like they tear apart to get into whatever it is they like sense the insects inside of, and that can include things like termite mounds and tree stumps because sometimes tree stumps contain insects. So anteaters have been known to tear apart tree stumps and logs like they're fucking tissue paper to get to the insects inside, just like Captain America. That's not like uh, like a facetious comparison. Anteaters actually do that. So right now. I need whoever edits this video to put an anti ahead on Chris Evans's body when he's doing that. <laughs> Just the and that's the thing as well, when you think like, with the Captain America example, like that's supposed to be something showing that Captain America is like the pinnacle of human potential in regards to strength. And anteaters do it so they can eat things that are like this big. They do it to do like they do it to eat like insects and they can eat thousands of them in a day. Because that's the thing, um, anteaters. Um, they're effectively like farmers. It's not that they break into a termite mound and eat everything inside. They'll break in and eat just enough termites where the colony can replenish the lost termites relatively quickly. So it is effectively farming the termites and a giant anteater will generally have several dozen termite mounds within its territory, meaning that it will break into concrete hard termite mounds like 10 times a day sometimes. So it's not just doing this once, it's doing it multiple times per day to eat ants. All of which will like sting at its face and eyeballs the entire time. And it's like, nah, don't, don't care. It's an anteater. Also, there's one thing about the anteater that I absolutely need to mention is the fact that, do you know that giant bushy tail they have? Yeah. Well, they sleep under it. Oh. Like they curl into a ball and cover themselves with the, uh, the giant anteater tail. Oh, so cute. Yeah, it's amazing. Because like, when I went to see the one, he did that for pretty much the entire time I was there. <laughs> and just every now and again, when you hold an avocado out, you just see like the little snoot come out and just like the tongue go, <laughs> and just grab the like, avocado off you. I would definitely love to see one in real life. They are. It's, they, they just look so fucking hilarious. They just look so hilarious, but they're lethal. Like the keeper told us, like, um, we can't let you into the enclosure where it is because if it senses danger, it will kill you. And we're like, you're joking, right? Like, no. Um, and he like got a stick and he like moved his tail and like with a look at those claws. Like, oh, oh my fucking god! Oh my god! You know, yeah, they can tear through like you no know, solid fucking wood. What do you think it's gonna do to your skin? And he told us like, yeah, there are zoos where they let people touch anteaters and they've taken legs off. They've taken legs off. They've killed people. Um, in the wild, they kill jaguars. So that was something I was curious about myself. It's like, does anything actually eat these things? They they look very tough, very they're very bristly. Like, they're cute, but I can't imagine any animal wanting to hunt a giant anteater. It doesn't look like there's a lot of, like, meat there. And uh, apparently in the wild, very few animals um, will ever actually predate a, a giant anteater, with the exception of jaguars and pumas, uh, both of which will only generally tackle either a juvenile anteater or an adult anteater when they are desperate, for all of the reasons we just mentioned. So I, how you said they could easily rip a jaguar in half? Like, yes. Is is there any like example, well, any examples or any footage of them, them actually fighting other animals? Yeah, there is footage of um, a jaguar fighting um, a giant anteater, which I'll get to into a moment. But like, the, they frequently come across like dead jaguars um, in the jungles, and it's surmised that they were killed by an anteater that just fucks them all the way up. Because contrary to their bumbling, awkward appearance. Um, Anteaters are capable of surprising bursts of speed and can run at speeds in excess of 30 miles an hour over short distances. Jesus. Uh, they also have an exceptionally keen sense of smell. Uh, they have very poor eyesight and not good hearing, but their sense of smell is so acute it is almost impossible to sneak up on an anteater because they just know everything in their surroundings like due to how sensitive their noses are. Not to mention, um, like, you know, they're very like, top-heavy, very bulky. Yeah. So, like, you know, and they've got very, like, you know, thick hide, you know, because they're, they're 
just get stung by thousands of insects every single day just eating their dinner. Yeah. So they're also exceptionally hardy and um, uh, like you know have a great resistance to physical injury and pain. And the one thing I want to mention before, you know, the jaguar giant anteater showdown is that anteaters like fucking terrify other animals doing something that we humans find quite adorable. And that is, you've probably seen this Nisha, when they stand on their back legs and hold their arms astride like this. Yeah. Like, you've probably seen the picture of an anteater doing that, like anteater Jesus, oh, it's like going for a hug. That's what anteaters do when they're threatened to make themselves look bigger, like, you know, a common tactic in the animal kingdom. But with anteaters, it's especially effective because they have the giant bushy tail that's almost as long as their entire body. They have the giant nose, which they raise into the air, making them look like, you know, a foot and a half taller. And they've got the giant huge arms with the four inch long claws at the end of them, which they will put at like their full extension, making them look like three times their actual size when they're in like, you know, their default A pose. Yeah, and if you saw that, you would you would fuck off. <laughs> if you're an animal, you would, yeah. If you're a human, you'd go up and give it a hug. And humans have <laughs> tried to give anteaters hugs, and they've been killed doing that. And there's like a story, I think it's from like Brazil, um, where a, a farmer found an anteater had been cornered by his dogs. And like he was worried that the anteater would kill his dogs, so he went in to try and kill the anteater with a knife, mm. um, worrying that the anteater would like you no know, attack his dogs, which he needed for his farm. And the anteater grabbed him in an anteater hug, um, and then clawed at the backs of his legs, severing his arteries. Oh my god. Uh, at which point oh. the farmer's son shot the anteater to death, but at that point the anteater had already won. Oh, that's horrible. And the thing is, like, an anteater's like four foot long. And the guy had a knife, and he was being watched over by a guy with a gun, and he had two dogs, and the anteater still got him. And then to finally bring it back to jaguars, there is only one real known video example of an anteater squaring off with a jaguar, and we don't know what happened. But, like, you just see the anteater just it just stands up and it just swings. It swings on a jaguar. I've never seen anything like it. Like, it just starts swinging on this jaguar and it backs up. Did you just see it? It's like, do, 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 do. What the fuck is this? No. <laughs> do not mess with the anteater. They'll get you. Get you good. <laughs>